everyone welcome back to the channel so i'm going to continue with the page i started in wildflower for it by christine karen it was this one so just the other day on the channel i did color this side of the hair um so i think i used what colors did i use just in case anyone's interested and didn't see it it was light yellow ochre burnt sienna sanguine terracotta ivory and a little tiny bit not a lot of dirt chrome yellow and that was mainly for a couple of bits where i wanted it to be more more of a pop of yellow but i really didn't put much of that on so that was the her color so today i'm going to do the little jumper she's got on i wasn't sure whether i wanted to go for greens or reds but i have decided on greens um just because the hair's got red tones in it i didn't want it to be too much samey samey colors i wanted it to have quite a contrast so yeah we're gonna do greens and the quite earthy type of greens that i've picked out one is called earth green and it's teeny tiny now this pencil you can't see it's 172 so i'm gonna base all of the jumper with that and then i'm gonna go in with some olive green yellowish 173 and then i'm not decided um, I've picked out this chromium green opaque 174 and then just in case I need to deepen up anywhere I have picked out the dark sepia 175 but we'll see how we get on. Um, just looking at these, the direction of the, you know all the grayscale on this, you can see lines going across but the way I'm going to colour this is by going, bringing down strokes um so hopefully that will cover any of that up because i'm going to totally ignore that there's lines going that way and do my own thing so yeah let's just let's just get straight into it so i'm going to bring you down all the way and i'm going to go straight in with the earth green and i'm going to put just a light layer all over all over I think on this side of the inside of the sleeve, that's all a hand there, apart from this little dirt patch here. I think all the rest of it is a sort of wrist in there that you can see. I really need to order a new pencil of this colour. Gosh, this is going to hurt my wrist by the time I've finished. It's a good job it is only a light layer with it. So if I had to try and put pressure on with this, gosh. The door might go as well, just warning you, if I run to the door, it'll be my Hannah Carlson book. I don't think it's coming today, but it might do. I've, I've really no clue because the tracking information's in a foreign language. But I know the place where I've ordered my from, mine from, it does take quite a while to get here. It's the same place I, I got the, what beat was it? Carolina Kubikowska's Rising. So, yeah, it does take a while. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush for it. I have seen as well the Renaissance watercolours. She's brought out a new collection, hasn't she? Is it called Chrome Pop or Pop Chrome? <laughs> Something like that. Really, really nice colours. Really nice, but I'm sort of on a... I wouldn't say I'm on a no-buy, but I'm trying to not buy things that I know I won't use very often because, you know, Christmas is coming up. Got to start buying the kids stuff for christmas now and i've got two of the birthdays before christmas there's one in october and one in november my kids birthdays so yeah i'm definitely not buying anything else now that i don't 100 percent want although they're nice they're very nice i'm not doing it <laughs> so what color should we go with the mug should we go for a nice sort of beige cream sort of mug because I really can't think of a colour I could use that wouldn't look odd with the red hair and green jumper, do you know what I mean? I think a nice beige cream kind of cup, if I can pull that off, might be nice. Or even, no, that would take forever, wouldn't it? I was thinking even draw my own florals on there, or maybe paint some Hmm. <laughs> it suddenly went from sounding very easy to do to oh what can Kirsty do to stress herself out i know let's put our own illustration on there <laughs> would be fun though to put some florals on there wouldn't it 
Now I'm thinking I really want to do it. <laughs> I might do it and film it. How to add your own illustrations into a colouring page. Let's paint them on. That's the inside of the sleeve there, isn't it? That little bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the handle of the cup's there. So what's... Is that her? Is that a sleeve? We're going to go for a sleeve. Well, it's a sleeve now. Decided. So did anyone watch my other video of me doing the hair on this and hear me speak about the Camilla Derrico bit that's coming out soon? Has anyone ordered that? I did pop a link in the description just in case anyone couldn't find it and wanted to go and pre-order it. It's releasing on the 15th of September, so not long. Is it two days? And then it's releasing. Beauties and Beasties, all new illustrations. I'll put the link in this video as well. Just um, in case you missed it on the first one and you want to go and check that out. But there should be a few preview pages on Amazon. There normally is with, with her books. There's normally a few little preview pages you can have a look at. If there's not, I would be surprised. Right, so that's that. Quick little base. Nothing special. Then I'm going to... Pick out the green, olive green, yellowish, 173. You can't see these, can you, unless I put my hand behind it. So now with these, this colour, I'm going to sort of just drag the colour down from the top. So I'm not going to do this lip, this sort of, I don't know what you call it, the <laughs> end of the, the seam. I don't know, what's it called? But I'm going to start here, under here. And I'm just going to pull down some lines, just using strokes as if you would, if you was doing the hair. And I like doing this lately. I don't know why. I find it more enjoyable. But I'll show you the effect I'm going for anyway. Let me find the, other, the previous page that I did. Don't mind me just flipping through the book for a second not that one. Oh, it wasn't in this book that's why Kirsty you didn't do it in this book let me get the right book to show you I feel like I've not slept for a week I'm so tired right let's see not that one where was it this one so here you can see all this texture this is what I'm going to try and go for these lines effect so that was that page um but i'm going to try and go for that so because they're very similar gorgeous portraits lena green that was lena green book lena green and then this christine karen book the lovely portraits i do really love coloring their books at the minute so yeah all right let's work out where we're going with this we'll get into this corner that'd be quite dark I just like texturing things, me. I think that's what it is. I like the texture. This may be the new way for me. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing is, you need your pencils sharp, sharp, sharp to get that effect. Right, I'm going to leave like, how you would with the hair, how I came up with the dark colour came from the bottom with a dark colour, came from the top with a dark colour, left the highlight in the middle. I'm going to do a similar theme. Let's bring you in a bit more. <laughs> I'm going to do a similar theme with this. I don't know what I'm doing on the edges yet. That's the only bit where when I do this technique I think, well what can I do on the edges because you can't really go in with lines on the edges. You have to just either um, colour it as you'd normally colour a page or maybe have like a metallic edging on it maybe i might do that with a watercolor put a metallic a little metallic edge on it 
could do that with copper as well. Do you know why some cups have like the metal, like gold, gold handles? Could do. You can't put, is it those ones with the gold handles you can't put in the microwave? I'm sure. Was it my mum what done it with a cup she, she had bought for her? I think my mum put a cup and it smashed. Put some sort of cup she weren't meant to in the microwave and it like went bang. <laughs> Sometimes you just forget though, don't you? It's just second nature. Yeah, I think I will do like a metallic watercolour on the edges and then I can even, there's like a, that's not part of a jumper, that's just part of the illustration at the bottom of the page where they put this little tiny lip going along the bottom. I might even put a bit of metallic paint there just for the sake of it, just because why not? Why not? Now, you might be thinking, but the stripes here, is she going to do every stripe the same shade of green? Well, I've not quite decided. <laughs> I've not quite decided because I've not worked it out in my head yet, but I think I'll initially go for that and see. But yeah, maybe. So, I'll finish this little stripe off and then I'll skip this one I'll do the I'll do all the darker ones so all the heavily most heavily grayscale ones I'll do with this color what I've got and then I'll decide what I'm doing with the rest when I decide because I'm indecisive right now maybe might even go crazy and do a red in between the green. No, no, don't do that, Kista. Don't do that. No, I'll probably just go for another green, but maybe a lighter shade. Maybe I have a look back in my pencil case, see if I can find a lighter shade or a darker shade. I don't know, who knows? Just slightly different tone. Oh, cream. Well, so it's, I think it's too dark to get a cream on now. And I've put that base of the green down on it all. Silly me. Can you tell I don't plan pages before I come on filming? I just do as I please. I can't plan, though, me. I can't plan. I just have to go with the flow. You know, I admire all these YouTubers that some even practice pages before they come on to film. So they might have a printout of this page. So they might scan it in, um, trial out some colours on the scrap piece and then come and film how they're going to do it. And I just think, hats off to you because I, <laughs> I don't have the time or patience. I like the more casual colouring as well most of the time you'll see that I come on and just just for a chat rather than claiming to know how to do something or explaining very well I try sometimes to explain <laughs> So I've seen it anyway, the, the Hannah Curls, I keep banging on about this book because mine hasn't arrived yet. But I've seen a couple of flip throughs go up on YouTube at the moment. If anyone is wanting to go and link at that, there is the popping up left, right and centre now. But yeah, I still haven't looked at a full flip through. Seen a few sneak peeks. <laughs> but yeah. I think they're on Instagram as well, aren't they? Because Hannah Curls and herself flip through it on Instagram.
We started ordering some meal delivery service as well, me and my partner. We've had it in the past before, but then we cancelled it because we got a bit bored of it. And then fast forward a year, we've signed up to it again. And it's basically, you, you probably know, you probably heard of it. It's called HelloFresh. And if you've not heard of that one, it's similar to the, is it Gusto? I think it's Gusto. It's similar to that. So you pick your meals, what meals you want, and then you get them delivered to your house. Uh, there's no food waste. You get a recipe card which shows you how to cook it and all that. Um, we've been putting off cooking this one meal for a few days now. <laughs> because like, I think my partners can't cook and I'm a mixture between can't cook and won't cook. And one of the meals we picked was venison, right? <laughs> venison. I've never cooked venison in my life. And it's got all these, it's got, what's it got in it? Oh, there's dolphin wire potatoes as well, which obviously you have to cook yourself from scratch and, and bake or whatever. Who knows? And then there's like a dressing. But it's like got apple slices in the dressing. And you have to like fry off these apple slices. And I'm just looking, thinking. I'm a really plain gem when it comes to food. I like... You know, I like food. I'm not a fussy eater. It's just that I, I can't cook with lots of ingredients. It confuses me. So even with the recipe card, I'm looking at it thinking, that's a lot of stuff to do just for one meal. <laughs> I'm just thinking, hmm. But we will have to cook it tonight because it's got today's date on it. So we're going to have to cook it so it doesn't end up going in the bin. So I'll let you know how that went. <laughs> Is anyone else can't cook? I literally, honestly. And I forget things so easily as well. Like even things, I've got a ninja air fryer and it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. But even basic things, I have to keep getting the, um, the little instruction manual out because I forget how long and what temperature to put things in on all the time. I can't even remember one, one thing. Um, I have to keep leaking. It stresses me out. <laughs> but the, the air fryer is amazing. Especially for the kids stuff. Because I can um, put some chips in the air fryer. Frozen chips. Frozen ones. And they're cooked like in 15 minutes. And um, they cook evenly. Nice and evenly. Because if I put chips in my oven. For some reason. I don't know if there's anything up. I don't know if there's something up with it. Or whether it's just. I don't know. Just ovens. But it's a gas oven and everything say i put stuff on a baking tray that's my baking tray <laughs> my chips are on it one come on everything around the outsides of the baking tray cooks and then the stuff in the middle of the baking tray is not cooked so i'm like why so i've got stuff around the outsides burning whilst the stuff in the middle still isn't cooked i think is that something up with my oven? Do I need a new oven, guys? Or is that just the way? Because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be the way. So what I have to, what I start doing sometimes is the stuff that's cooked between the outsides, I take it out the oven, put it on a hot plate, and try and keep it warm while the rest is still cooking. It's like really. <laughs> I hate it. I don't, I don't understand how people say they find cooking pleasurable because honestly there's nothing more apart from maybe the kids meltdowns in the morning that stresses me out more. I hate it. Hate it. Right, I should have left that bit out, shouldn't I? And then just done these bits. So that bit could have been the pill bit. Yeah, let me erase that. I don't want that there. It's because I'm chatting too much. I'm not paying attention. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's just start on this one. Getting carried away with myself. Not paying attention. I'll just do all these ones dark. We'll just have one little patch in the centre there for the lighter colour, I think. Why not? Right, 
you'll find I'm turning my pencil round quite a lot as well. I'm just trying to find that sharp point each time I'm turning it round because I can't be bothered to keep sharpening my pencil. I'm being a bit lazy, but also I'm trying to save my pencil. Because obviously, you know what happens if you keep sharpening and keep sharpening, you end up with no pencil left. It ends up looking like this. <laughs> or even tinier. But I will have to sharpen it in a minute. There's only so many times I can turn it. We do need the sharp points for this effect. Whoops. Right, let's give it a sharpen. I'm still using this sharpener as well. You've got a big close up on that eye. Swordfish icon from Amazon. I love this version the best. Um, I've tried it the Helix sharpener but I didn't like it so I purchased another swordfish I was like yes bring me back my swordfish sharpener. Now I'm gonna leave this one for a different colour and go straight in on the second whoops go straight in on this second one. The traffic's gone very quiet outside of all of a sudden. If you live on a main road at peak times it's just really really noisy it's like constant traffic especially when it's been raining and the road's wet as well it's even noisier but all of a sudden i just got such a silence there were no cars going past i thought what's going on here oh my daughter's just had some new trainers delivered as well I'm hoping she doesn't have a meltdown with them later. <laughs> she normally does. She's got sensory processing disorder as well as autism, so she hates um, the feeling of clothes. Um, she doesn't tolerate new clothing very well. So it was time for new trainers. And she said she wanted some similar to the ones she's got. Um, which are like them slip-on trainers, you know, where you just slip your slip your foot into them. There's no laces or anything. Um, there's some of them Nike, Nike or Nike ones, whatever way you want to pronounce that. <laughs> um, but they also, what they also have is like a little tag. They have like a little sort of tag thing on the top of the tongue, and then on the back of the heel. And I think the one on the back of the heel is so you can hold it while you pull it up onto your heel. It's like a little fabric piece of material now she hates that she makes me cut it off so I, I expect that's what she'll be screaming at me to do later is to cut that off first and foremost and then i don't know what else she might create a fuss over we shall see we shall see think doing something like this is something you can just sit down on the couch with and watch telly at the same time so it's pretty simple to do but it's it is time consuming but it's pretty simple and pretty mindless so you can just sit down watching your telly or listening to your telly doing your little strokes <laughs> it's not being left like this by the way as well i'm going in with another color we're gonna get all this nice <laughs> And then I'll probably come back at another time to do these ones in between because I probably won't get them done in this video. <laughs> I'm too slow. I just like, I can't rush with my colouring. I just have to casually chill whilst I'm doing it. I've got some pizzas in the oven for the kids' tea tonight. Anyway, it has to be a quick tea because they're at after school club till four o'clock. So then 
And when we get back home, about half past four, we have to whack some tea in the oven. Oh, I've just had to ride up to my eldest daughter's secondary school as well with an immunisation form because she was refusing to take it into school. Have I just had my hand in my and it's all blurry? Try and go this way. Yeah, she was refusing to take it into school, so I've just had to take it. I'm not telling her that I've taken it in because she'll, I don't know, I've got a feeling she'll try and stay off and say she's not going in school on the day that she knows they're doing immunisations if she knows I've taken it in. I I don't like listen. I don't like injections. They're not they're not nice, you know. But it's not a scurvy injection. It's just a simple, a really simple injection. And I didn't like them as a child, and I still don't. But I always had it done because you know all your friends were having it done as well. You know it, it wasn't just you. You know you were all in it together. <laughs> But she's like, I don't know. I don't know. I've got a feeling she will just outright tell them they're not doing it or something. <laughs> oh, dear me. That'll be another drama. I'm just thinking, because this last piece, I thought it was one piece and then it sort of separates here and here. So I'm wondering, yeah, just we'll we'll make it as if that's a line there, because that's like coming, and we'll do this very end piece dark. I think, yeah, because that end, well, you can't see this very end piece is that colour as well. So we'll go with the flow of that. that's that one i think so now i'm gonna go in with some oh should i oh should i save that for that one you know what i'm gonna use the dark sepia for the shadows i'm gonna use dark sepia 175 and i'm gonna go right at the tops of where we've just been so right at the top adding a bit of darkness don't have to put too much in if you don't want, just go as you feel. But it will just deepen some of the areas up a little bit. If you only feel like sticking one line of darkness through, you can just stick one line through like that. Or hit randomly. And then the centre bits will come back in with the very first colour we put down. So we'll go back in with the earth green through the centre. Let's see. You can just layer up and layer up until all your white space is filled up. I think once you've got the initial couple of layers down, it's easier to just build up on it. Build up on your colours, it comes easier. I think oh, I've missed a bit out here, haven't I? The inside of the sleeve there. Sort that out after. Just spotted it out of the corner of my eye then. And this little bit here. So I am just going to go in with this dark sepia here. Just small circular motions on that bit. Because it is just a dark shadowed area.
Is it summer unless I'm zoned out now? To put some nice chilled music on in the background. <laughs> It's funny with music on YouTube channels because you can easily, very quickly, just get demonetized for the music you're playing. I mean, there is, you know, there's, I use, what app do I use for the music? Film, Film More, is it called? But a lot of them, it's really, really rubbish music. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Most of it is like, what is that? Or you can't find something that's long enough for your video. They're all sort of like two three four minutes long and then you're having to clip you know all them all that music together to make it long for your video Ugh. it's just a whole thing whole faff but when i recently posted a shorts video um i was trying to look up about music that you can use in your shorts videos because I noticed that most shorts videos had like chart music on and I was thinking well how are they getting away with that so I had a quick google and it said um that if as long as you use the music that YouTube suggests when you put a short video up I think this is just for shorts um that YouTube have a license with these artists um to use them so that you know we can use them without our video being demonetized so i did actually try that on one of my short videos quite a while ago and it is still monetized so what song was it i used now i can't remember it was a chat song but obviously you can't do it on you know, long format videos, it's just for the shorts videos. Because I was wondering if people would prefer music over my pantomime painting. Short videos rather than me talking. There's a reason I did the talking is because I thought I wasn't allowed to use the music. go so I'm now going to go in with this very first colour we use this earth green I'm going to pull this through the uh, it's very dirt this camera angle today I've got my lamp on full full force but on the actual when I'm looking at my mobile phone on the screen it looks dark I don't know if it's just just me yeah, so I'm going to bring some of this through more now so hard to use this pencil it's too small <laughs> it's tiny tiny i'm gonna leave some little bits out because i think i'm gonna go in with uh, possibly an ivory and then go back over again with one of the greens because i like to when you put a light color down to blend it then puts sort of a coating over the rest of it so I like to then go over the top again with one of the greens to pull that through the bit that you've blended, if that makes sense. <laughs> you're making no sense, Christy. That's what I think half the time. You're making no sense. Nobody knows what you're talking about. I think this will only come together as well when I get those in between bits done because at the moment it just looks very strange. But you can do that, you can totally ignore the theme of the page, how the lines were going that way on these. Totally, you can't even see it was there. So just if you see something you don't want to go with how the page has been laid out then change it if you can if you can change it you want to change it change it I 
do these bits at the end a bit darker. I'm not going to leave much room for ivory because they are more in the shadows. I'll just go over there as well. You know what though? I hate this electric eraser. Does anybody else don't like these? I can never get it in the right spot. So I'll go to erase this bit now and I'll probably end up rubbing like some of the hair and all sorts. No, I've rubbed out some of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Not a fan of them. There we go, so now I'm going to use the ivory. So you will see when I go in with it, it sort of puts a coating over, over everything. So you'll see that, but it has blended what I wanted to blend. So going over the bits you want to blend, and then use, I'll go back in with the olive green yellowish, over the top of the area I've just blended to bring a couple of those green strokes back through it, back through the highlight. See, so yeah, that's a lot better. There we go, so same on this one. it builds up that depth as well when you do this lots of layers yeah definitely don't think we're getting those other stripes done in this video we're on 37 now my phone doesn't let me export more than an hour's worth of video so i really do have to cut it shorter in the 40 minute mark normally i mean sometimes i get away with what did i get away with the other week but i had to export everything off my phone um one hour and nine minutes i think it was i got away with the other week but to get it all uploaded on into my editor i had to delete loads of apps off my phone to make cream for the storage so it's just a pain it's a major faff i find it easier though recording with my phone you don't need no fancy devices you don't need special laptops and cameras and all the rest of it i literally work from my mobile phone i do my editing on my mobile phone all my uploading my thumbnails, everything gets done from my mobile phone. I've done the wrong one, haven't I? I was meant to do this one. What are you doing, Kirsten? <laughs> I thought then I'm sure that doesn't look blended in the middle, no, because you've not done that one, Kirsten. I need to sort myself out, don't I? You know what I need? A coffee. I've not had a coffee this morning, that's what it is. Christy's not had coffee. <laughs> Alright, we'll do a little smidgen or something there. A little smidgen down there. go so that's half done so i'm gonna bring you zoom you out and bring you up so you can see what we've done so far i think she's looking nice she's looking quite nice i wouldn't mind to jump like that myself actually <laughs> so i think she's looking very autominimal autominimal <laughs> what's wrong with me you know i struggle with words like that what's that snowman called the abominable snowman i've probably said it wrong because it, it does something to my brain and i can't get the word out but anyway yeah i think this is looking nice i wouldn't mind to jump like that myself <laughs> but these other stripes are probably going to be similar sorts of greens i don't know whether i'm going to go for light yeah it'll probably be a lighter shades of green i'll probably you know what i'll probably do use this earth green but a herd of pressure so i'll bring that down with a herd of pressure in those 
gaps and use that one and then maybe bring in a little touch of another green I've used probably do that I think but yeah I like the way this page is coming out I definitely think I'm gonna do the cup with some sort of either beige cream or some sort of painted on flowers on there maybe beige cream cup with some florals on who knows I've not quite decided and then the leaves are gonna be like your yeah, oranges yellows reds you know your kind of autumn leaves but yeah skin I'm just not sure. I'm leaving till last I think on the skin on this one normally that's really different for me back to front for me because normally I'll go in on the skin first before anything else but this one I'm kind of just hanging back on it I think it's because I'm a bit scared of the hands because to be honest I'm not the best at colouring hands I don't know what it is I'm just not the best but there we go this is the page so far so if you did enjoy watching please do hit that big thumbs up on the video drop me a comment down below and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one bye everyone